Hi, I'm Semyon Yaakov. This presentation is entitled Magnetic Circuits and Spice, Electromagnetic Interface, and this is a part two of a two-part presentation. The first part is the background of this uh, whole issue, and here is the link to it, and I'm going to print the link at the YouTube page of the video that you are now watching. In the first part, I was considering the case in which you have a number of magnetic elements, two inductors and a transformer, like in an LLC resonant converter, and an embodiment which is using one integrated magnetics to actually have the same properties as these elements. And the idea is that we have here, first of all, a inductance, we have a gap, so it's a power inductor, we can store energy in it. And then we have a common flux between input and output, so it acts as a transformer. And then with this bypass, there is a actually leakage, and this leakage represents itself as a series inductance. So we have a series inductance, we have a parallel inductance, and then we have a transformer. And in the first part I've shown that you can describe this magnetic element as a magnetic circuit based on reluctances. These are reluctances defined in the first part of this uh, lecture and voltage sources that represent the magnetic motive force n times i and the current here is the flux. So the current is flux, the voltage is the MMF and these resistors are the reluctance and it's a one-to-one -one relationship between this and the circuit. Since I'm going to run simulation, I need some numbers, so I'm assuming a, an element which has a 5 cm on 5 cm side, and the cross-section is 1 cm square. So we have here the primary, we have here the secondary, I'm assuming a relative permeability for the ferrite of 2000, and this is the definition of the reluctance. And of course, the mu sub zero is the permeability in air or vacuum, uh, which is 1.25, 10 to minus six Henry per meter. And here is an empty spice circuit that represent this case, this one. What we see here is the magnetic circuit, and then I'm doing some on the flight calculation of the inductance at the input, at the output, although I'm not using it at the beginning, here N2 is uh, zero, and also I'm calculating the coupling coefficient, which is the ratio between the flux at the output to the flux at the input. So this is the coupling coefficient, this K. That is the voltage here represent the K. What is missing here is the interface. That is, you cannot connect this circuit to an electrical circuit because there are no input terminal and no output terminal. It's just the magnetic circuit itself. So what is missing is this interface that you can connect the terminal, that you connect an electrical circuit, you'll see if, uh, the effect of the voltage of, of this uh, magnetic circuit, and then the current coming in will be this current that you'll use here. Okay, so this is missing here, and this is the objective of this second part to show the interface, the electro and magnetic interface to the reluctance model. There are actually two ways to do it, and I'll start with the first one, which perhaps is simpler, and that is to say the following. If I have a winding here and there is a flux, then what I see here in the terminal is the voltage, and this is the voltage that I see at the input. So if I put a dependent source here, defined by n d phi dt, this is the voltage that you'll find here due to the flux on this left leg, then this will represent the voltage that you see when you look into this element, and the current that will be flowing here is the current that you'll use later on here for the MMF source. So the flux in this leg, left leg, will be used to generate this voltage, I mean the derivative of this flux, and the current here 
will go into the MMF expression. And here is the implementation. What we see here is first of all the magnetic circuit by itself. This is as it was before. Here is the voltage and this is the derivative here. Okay. This is just used for uh, measurement and also for setting initial conditions. It's not important in the operation of the circuit. It's only one nano Henry. I'm using here a sinusoidal excitation. And there is a preparation for a square wave here. This is this definition here. So this is a sinusoidal excitation, 400 volt and 100 kilohertz. And here is the MMF, which depend on the current here. Here the MMF depends on the current here. These are dependent voltage sources. And here I'm running it with N1 equal to 50 and N2 5. And the dimension is as it was earlier. And here is the result. What I'm showing here is the input voltage and the input current. See the current is lagging after the voltage as you'd expect we see the input voltage and the output voltage multiplied by 10 because we have a ratio, a term ratio of 10. And we see that we are losing some, some voltage because there is a leakage and due to the leakage, of course, you have a lower voltage actually going through the transformer. And here I'm showing the flux of the left leg, uh, flux density, can be obtained by taking this flux and dividing it by the cross-section area of the leg. So this is just running it uh, with this approach. There is another approach which is the following. We know that the voltage of an inductor is LDI dt or that I is the integral of the voltage divided by L. So I can have here a current source equal to 1 over L integral of V when V is actually the input voltage. Here it is. This is V is here. This is the voltage across this source. It's a current source. The value of the current source is the integral of this voltage divided by L. Now L is found here. As I've mentioned, I have incorporated here a calculation of L, which is N times the flux divided by the current, the definition of L. And also I have incorporated here a calculation of the leakage. The leakage can be calculated by the difference in the fluxes between the left and right, which is actually this one here. I'm showing it as N times phi1 minus phi3. Phi1 is here, phi3 is here, and then this is actually phi2, and divided by the current. This is a definition of inductance, N times phi over I. So we have here the leakage, we have L1, which is then used here in this expression. The voltage here represents L1, so here is the voltage. In this case, I'm using a square wave excitation, and the load here is 1k. Earlier the load was 1 ohm, while here is 1 kilo ohm. This is just about like an open circuit because I like to show the behavior of an inductor when you feed it with a square wave. Okay, we know the current should be a triangular waveform and I like to demonstrate it. So here it is. This is the input voltage, square wave. This is the input current. And now I'm showing here the two calculation of the inductance, which turns out to be like 300 microhenry, and the leakage, which is about 50 microhenry. So we have quite a bit. So this would be like the serious inductance, say an LNC circuit. Let me just point out that although it looks simple, there are some issue with circulating current here because if, if I have a DC component, then I might have some current offset that may show up in one place or another. In a real circuit, the current 
is actually controlled. By here, if I'm just feeding it with a voltage source, then depending on the initial condition, I might have some offset. Here it's pretty good, but in some cases you might see an offset. For example, here in the earlier example, I did mention it, you see that there is an offset of a DC here. Although the excitation is AC, the reason is that uh, the initial condition is such that there is an added DC component which is then circulating and you see it here. But as I have said, in a real circuit, uh, for example, if you implement it in a LLC or in a uh, buck converter, for example, this should be actually be compensated during the operation of the circuit, which is actually controlling the amount of current uh, in the inductor. So this brings me to the end of this presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found it of interest and perhaps it will be useful to you in the future. Thank you very much.